What is this? What could it be? What is this this company? I've never this seen this company logo. Who's who I have forgotten despite the fact we're currently doing an LP. It's extremely rare, this company. Rare. Uh -huh. Oh. 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 oh, who's that? It's everybody. <laughs> so this, this song, is the most British thing ever. <laughs> this is so fucking lavish. I love this opening. For a collection, yeah. So let's just... Oh, remember them? Dude, Look, they're back. everyone's in here. The no one Ghoulies. remembers that guy. So this is a, a collection of 30 rare games. Because so not all years. of them, but 30 rare games now, over the Now, a years. lot of people might be saying, well, what about all the really big ones they made? Well, you can't because those are Nintendo they're all, all the big ones are in here, guys. Yeah. So, like, and other than that, they've got, like, all these like little... Like Saber Wolf Men. Yeah. They've got all these little, like, featurettes and making ofs. Okay, and, like, this is and where... And canceled games I stuff. haven't looked at this yet myself, but this is where tons of info is coming out of, like, this Right week. now, yeah. This, this fucking Rare was making a survival horror Dude, game. So we're gonna go into the game gallery. We're gonna take a quick look game at, gallery. at everyone. As you can see, this video is a little long. So we're gonna take a quick <laughs> look at, at everyone. We can do it though. We See, we have the stamina. Yeah, yeah. So I oh, believe I players. believe in jetpack. You just use the stick to fly around oh. in space. I thought you were just saying I believe in jetpack. I believe in jetpack. So you use the stick to fly around. I'm playing right now. You'll you'll play next. Ah, uh, it's, that, it's and, that type of multiplayer. And you press A to shoot laser beams. So as, no laser men. And then you have to take your ship and you have to construct it. Oh, while dodging shit and blasting Yeah, so shit, you just have to fly over and you'll drop the part you're holding. So, th these games, while technically rare, they actually released all, a lot of these ZX Spectrum games under the name Ultimate. Really? That was their original name before I didn't they... I know that. I, I, I forget when they changed their name to rare, but you know what? Where are the other rare classics that are missing on this collection? Like Beetlejuice and Fry... And, Beetlejuice and for the NES, Beetlejuice right? Beetlejuice yeah. for the NES and uh, Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES. I think they also... Yeah, LJN published both those games, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Mark quality. Yeah, go get in there. Uh, Just touch the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you! So one of the cool things in this game is you hit, if you hit start, you pause, but then yeah. you have to hold that for the menu. And then from there, you yeah, can you check all it, the... Like, they treat it like it's a fighting game. You have yeah. to hold it down to quit. And then you can check all the like little in-game achievements in there and there's, stuff. Because there's achievements in this game. There's also the like other in-game achievements for stamps, I think? Yeah, these exactly. Things. It's so usually each like... each of the achievements in the game gives you a stamp. Yeah, because like even if you boot up a game, you get like a single stamp. And do you redeem... Yeah, exactly. I don't know about this. Do you redeem the stamps for the... The unseen You stuff? automatically unlock stuff in that menu. So here, I'm going to give you one go at this snapshot. I did this one at home. You have to try to do five full wraparounds of the screen. Like just go just from... Five full wraparounds. And not get hit? And not get hit. But do I have to do the stuff for no, the No, you ship? just have to wrap around five times. I assume this will be harder than... Oh, usual. yeah. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Keep running. Oh! Lunar... Lunar... Jetman. Je Jetman. So I guess it's the same. It's of the Jet franchise. Rare, Rare was really into space. They love yeah, space. Yeah, ultimate play ultimate the game. Play there you the go. Game, yeah. So I never actually did play this one. So we're gonna we're gonna see how this game goes. You're in the Mako. I can't do anything other than get out. Drive it to the barber shop over there. I can't get back in. That's okay. I don't understand. So I see that there's two indicators there that say base and full oh, shit. And I see fuel and time and truck and base and alien, but that base a, and alien keep changing. Yeah, that was a practice. Oh god! I think this is the kind of game where we would have to read the manual. I can't go back down. Oh. Yeah, oh. you're in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm never gonna get out. But you're gonna stop in this little. <laughs> but uh, why? It's ah! unclear. What's this? Those are X Men logos. Watch out for them. No, no, yeah, they are X Men logos. But was that thing on the floor? Oh, shit. It was space information. Okay. Okay. I think that was a good look at that game. I think so. I think we ran the gamut of possibilities there. <laughs> Attica Taka. So, this game... Look at the fucking spectrum! <laughs> <laughs> so this game, if I'm not mistaken, is about escaping the attic, as it says on the side there. But you have to attack it, I guess. Yeah, ultimate play the game. Man, F fuck attic. So, I'm gonna play as the... Yeah, I said surf. it. Attics aren't fun, I don't blame you. Attics? No one's ever had a good time in an attic, I'll tell you that for free. I thought you were going to say on a spectrum. That too. And, and my health is that chicken. Why is your health I don't, chicken? Are, I, you, are you a chicken? I don't know. Give me something to shoot. Give me something to shoot, boss. Uh, you can shoot the spectrum. I'm sorry. 
Everyone, this every, is gonna be a every game. every British person who likes the spectrum. We're sorry, sorry, Matthew and James Small. Those are the only two British people I know. <laughs> game over. A twenty-one percent of the game. Damn, we did good. <laughs> we did good. So this is, of course, Saber Wolf, the first one. The GBA yeah. one is not included in this collection. So despite, you're basically despite them still owning. You're basically it, so. that asshole that shot that lion. Yeah. And yeah, uh, instead of a lion here, it's a it's a so, crazy wolf. Okay. This game is on another level. Of I've I've, uncon- never, I've only played the GBA one, so I don't actually know about this, this one. This game is uncontrollable. Oh, fucking Jesus! It's my turn. I'm going to go straight to the other room. I'm you, Your turn. Okay. We every le- every level is a nice level. <laughs> Fuck! So this game is Whoa. like... This game is like brutally difficult to play. <laughs> I want to get to the saber wall. What, I know. And Underworld. Underworld, very similar so to the Sailor Wolf. You take this up. one. This one's single player. Okay. I don't so know how to play it. Loop, climb, and fight your way through an ancient labyrinth while evading vicious monsters. Can you escape the Underworld? Why can't you spell things right? The Underworldy. I'm not clear on how this game works. Oh, wait. <laughs> All right. Fuck! You just bounce off the enemies. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh god, this red fucking asshole. Oh jeez. I, I like how the enemies don't seem to hurt you. What the fuck? Yeah, go down. Oh. End it. I've never felt the t- Oh god! Yeah, kill it. Get into the underworldy. The best thing for British anything I've seen recently is that there's no juice, or very rarely, there's no juice that says no pulp. It says no bits. <gasps> oh! Oh. That was harsh. Night, night lore. I thought it said night. It's Saber Wolf again. For some reason, I thought it said night hole. I, I can see that. Uh, so we none of us used this, but if you hold LT in any of the old oh games, oh my god, are you serious? You can rewind. Holy shit! I didn't know about that. So I'm gonna take that death. I'm gonna hold that L. But you uh, I believe it's all the games up to again. I don't remember which ones first. Blast Core or Ki Gold. But up to the, the N64 games, uh, you can hold LT to re- rewind stuff. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. There's Overall rating, more. poor. We did 5% of that game. That's a good enough look at it. I can't believe that was 5%. <laughs> you cleared like two rooms. I know. All right. That, that All milestone right. What's up? Reached. What's up? Are we at Snake Rattle and Roll? Yeah, We're not. We're Snake not. Because we still have that cowboy game. There it is. Gun Fright. I'm so, frightened of guns. I'm gonna th- it's still the Saber Wolf guy. He's just got a cowboy So I'm going to throw this one over to you. Because okay. this game is something. You so fu- you got to look for Buffalo Bill. Yeah, you find him and he's looking in the mirror. He's like, would you fuck me? <laughs> I'd fuck me. <laughs> and you got to kill or not kill There's Buffalo a- Bill and get your 350 American dollar dude. Oh, I just spent $5,000. So am I supposed to kill all these people? What I, don't, I-, I don't know. I don't want to play this one. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm taking that back. I'm taking that back. Wow, what a what a neat but also like completely cheatery solution. Complete wall and patch of love this game. I mean, if he if he had a childhood and knew what a rare game was, I guess the he idea would of really built-in it. console commands gets Pat going. Mm. What we got next? Ski man. Yeah, we got slalom. Slalom. So we're gonna play some two-player game here. Ski free. Uh-huh. Is it two players? So that, look, this is by Rare. 1986, by Rare we're getting to the greatest year in video games. I think it's... I love how this guy's this is giant ass with, like, a fucking helmet on it. This is where Ned Flanders was inspired by. It feels like I'm racing with nothing at all on my bum. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh, shit. Yeah! RC Pro-Am. Here, you can take fucking this Fucking RC Pro-Am fucking rules. Get in there, get in there. It's RC Pro-AM in the AM! Oh. Uh, Chewy and Fuckface in RC Pro AM! This game's actually pretty tough. <laughs> third! You, you try. Okay, sure. I'll see, give it a swing. Because I was going to say, we're going to get to the second one, and that one's even more exciting. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Exciting racing. I'll give it I'll give it one, one give go. Give it a go. One go around the track. Oh! Out! Dang. Cobra Triangle! Yeah, Cobra Triangle. So, oh, so, shit. I didn't know this game was that. I thought it was some weird snake guy coming out of the water. No. Like the art. No. But no, it's just powerboat racing. So that's, that is the first stage. Okay. A simple, banal race. Yes. No. It get, what? It begins to get more You're interesting. You're the fucking car from, uh, what's, you, what's him call it? 
This stupid so this, car that turns into this things. This stage is dispose of Spy mines Hunter. in the time. So you've got to take these mines and you got to bring them across the map. Problem is, this guy wants them to stay over there. He loves those mines. So you, this I don't game know, just constantly good, breaks your expectations of what a speedboat game should be. Which I never knew is a thing that needed to be asked. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, like if, if you if you've never played Cobra Triangle, it is well worth your time. Uh, maybe even just on the novelty, because there's really nothing else like also it. Also, it's named Cobra Triangle. And look at that fucking happy sea serpent on the fucking left. He loves his life. I know. What do you, think, what do you think the next objective is going to be? Stunts. S fucking collect pods. Collect pods, okay. So this one's more of a race thing. It is very hard to collect pods. Uh, it seems like it already. Question what? Yeah, I know, I know. I don't lose whatever you I, want. I believe after this mission, the objective changes to protect Is the Asian guard people. The Asian people guard these Asian people. So these speedboats are just coming what and taking the people. I know, I know, right? Oh, oh shit! Then they'll make my like Asians. A, oh, give me back my Asians! I lost them all. And okay. you just blow up a nuclear. No, no man are left. left. That's not a world I want to be in. Snake rattle roll, motherfuckers. B is jump A as much. So if you go on these little. Uh, lids, you'll be able to pop stuff out of them with the lick button. With the munch button? The, the lick button, huh? Yeah, exactly. And then you want to eat those so, bubbles. So, yeah, you want to eat those bubbles to get Here, your eat snake eat that gray bigger, bubble. Right? Yeah, exactly. And, and grow your snake. Extend your... Extend, Engorge your snake. Ex okay, I got expand one. Expand dong. So this carny thing only extends Shit. all the way if you're big enough. You have to have enough Fuck. bubbles on your body. And if your body isn't elongated properly... Then you won't you won't be able to access. Oh, the so you level. you literally must be this tall to ride. Yes. Okay. This is a very non-pat like game. Mm. I, I really like that. On I can't jump past that. Yeah, you need to get on the ground. Okay. Like you can't jump from the from the water. Oh, uh, I think I'm fucking dead. Yeah, it's fine. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. So this is just Jetman. It's the actual sequel. Mm-hmm. Password Clob. Yeah. Oh, what? cool. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I guess oh, you haven't played. Oh! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, fucker. <laughs> no, no, they still got one more. Yeah, it seems like damage is proportionate to the speed you're moving at. Which is neat. Shit. There. Oh, you got one more shot. Oh. Interesting, actually. Oh, so do I want to make it back to... Oh, but it's one but of hit course, kills. Of course you die in one shot, yeah. Yeah, so when you're carrying an item with your ship, it actively makes your ship heavier. Yeah, because it's So it's, it's around. far harder to steer. Oh, oh, fuck. Well, fuck me, then. Digger T-Rock. I don't remember this motherfucker Well, good, because you're playing oh, it. Oh, man, look at that guy. What? That's a mascot built to last. <laughs> Everyone remembers... That's spinal? Holy shit. So you gotta jump, and you gotta tech. But you can't dig T-Rock, only T-Sand. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, then you make like a path. Then you make a path, that's Weird. Cool. That's nifty. Not... Oh, nice crawling animation. <laughs> hit the rock. Can you jump and hit the rock? <gasps> <laughs> Damn. Digger T-Rock! Oh, poor Digger T-Rock, he doesn't know how to do it. That's a nifty game. Well, well, let's just skip that one. <laughs> <laughs> we can try no, no, it. I'm gonna back up to that one, of course. The, the yeah. SS. Well, there's a gross yellow toe. So I get yellow. to be rash. Do you remember? Are you pimple or zits? I think we're rescuing zits. Fuck! Get off of me. No. You, I'm the green one, and you're just let me go. Oh, Ow! Fuck. Try not to fall off that cliff. Or it's death. I will try to not fall off this cliff. Oh. Yeah, do it. Oh. Yeah. Ah! So one of the pro one of the things that makes this game so brutally difficult is that in two players it's almost impossible because there's fucking friendly fire. It's way harder to play in two players. So you stay on the top of the screen. I'll stay on the bottom. Fuck you. <laughs> And that's the flaw of this game. That's the actual the fatal flaw. flaw. It's almost it's pretty much a bug. When a single player game overs, you both uh, game start, over. Start. Oh, when a single player game overs, you both game over and restart the level, so, but it doesn't restore the other player's lives. It's so messed up. It is Why would you crazy. design it like that? It's insane. Oh. So there's your fatal flaw. So we're not going to get any further than that. <laughs> wow, 1992 NES game. I not... was born that year. Oh god. Yeah, shut up. So this game, uh, just like the first game, between uh, between tracks, or between races rather, 
you get to customize your vehicle. And as you, you know, can see, there's little, need... there's little moolah bags on the ground. Moolah bags. The F. Oh, ah, fuck. Fuck you. God damn it. I thought we were playing without guns. No, I got the gun. You said that before we started this video. I set you up the bomb. Oh, you did. Mm -hmm. So that's like mm -hmm. RC Pro M2. That's I don't know pretty if you want to give it another race. No, I think that's, that's fine. Like, that's the gist of it. Yeah. Uh, Toad's Arcade. The one you were joking that we will be able to finish. But we won't. In the Battletoads video in this collection, uh, they talk about how they had to work on the arcade board for this game, and they had to make the hardware for it themselves. And how that was like a whole experience unto its own. Yeah, I, I, I think I was also telling you that oh, Rare that was like, so good, this, this is one of our biggest failures. Like, this game was not popular in the arcades at all. Yeah, you mentioned that to me. And uh, we were kind of like, oh god, we're never going to make an arcade game again. And then when the opportunity to make Killer Instinct showed up and midway was like we'll make the cabinets for you like and nintendo will publish it whatever it's like okay they well, took it yeah very exactly. low loss for us in particular oh we didn't talk about it but in the other battle toads game uh woolly mentioned it the other day and we looked it up and it's totally true you actually there's actually a bug in that game where you can't beat it in two players not just because it's difficult but like <laughs> level 11 just doesn't fucking work okay in two players. actually apparently because will is um, usually wrong with everything he usually, says he usually says. he is corpse count yeah so Crazy. i like how even though we're playing a beat em up this is very unbeat em up like right now yeah there's still other stuff going on in this game it's much more of a beat em up than than the right the the battle toads we saw earlier but it's still got its own things yeah yeah definitely oh my god die yeah, this is a fucking quarter muncher boss fire scene one. And there's he has no health bar, so. Yeah, well that's the trick with the last boss, right? Where you can't hurt him for the first 45 yeah, seconds. Yeah. Cause fuck you, put in more quarters, child. So that's this game. That's neat. It's a good game. Fun beat him up. Definitely a quarter muncher, but like since it's got like infinite whatever quarters like infinite whatever quarters. infinite whatever so i think it's really crazy that this is specifically ki gold which is only on the n64 mm -hmm. and they just didn't repackage ki2 that you got with uh yeah. killer instinct season two that's amazing because this game does have stuff that killer instinct 2 doesn't so and the other thing about killer instinct gold is that like mo like killer instinct one and killer instinct two it's pretty awful <laughs> yeah no they like i was it's not aged it, well i was playing it the other day and i was like who has nostalgia for this? Oh shit! Oh, you did it! Oh, look how terrible it looks! The i64 version is so it, awful! Yeah, they looked really good on the arcade ones. Oh yeah. my god, she looks so bad. Because they couldn't do the FMVs. So yeah, of course, the they had to they use could, 3D. They do. Does this game have throws? I don't yeah, think it, it does. It does? Okay. KI1 did not. Okay, yeah, I knew and one of it, them. It did. led to a lot of turtling in KI1. Right. That's why they kind of fixed it with throws. The throws are not good. This also has. Throws are not good. Okay, great. This all, well, they're just they they do okay damage. Okay. But like this game also has parries and the everyone has three special moves that work in a rock paper scissor thing where one will always beat out the other no okay. matter what. It's really weird. Like, they try to do it to make the game more offensive, but. It's right, just I hear you, but it just doesn't work out, kind of. <laughs> yeah, low kicks. Low Fucking kicks virtual fighter. virtual fighter. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is what this is what high level killer racing one or two fights look like sometimes. Collaborative effort. Collaborative That's effort. That's awesome. So you wanna explain that Ready joke? Launch, you wanna throw that CG joke out there? Engine, break a sweat expiration day. Uh collaborative effect is because uh, Rare had a really shitty, like actually super shitty fighting game at the time called Brute Force. Oh. And then when uh, Ken Lobb of Nintendo came along, he said, what do you got? Oh, we're working on this. He's like, I could work with this and basically molded Killer Instinct. Like he wasn't the director or anything, uh -huh. but he kind of said, you should do this. You should be able to have crazy combos. You should be able to break them and kind of worked with Rare there. So. And after that, like, you know, worked on Killer Instinct, worked on Goldeneye. And if I'm not mistaken, his, he's one of the guns, the worst gun in Goldeneye, the he's claw, the he's the is claw. named after him. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because yeah, yeah. Blast Core is like, like, wow, this so, concept. So you want to explain the concept while I try to. The get concept the is the that game. these fucking nukes that I guess Snake must have missed <laughs> are just beat are just rolling ahead right and if they hit anything they'll nuke everything so apparently. wait how do you stop that problem you get different vehicles and robots 
to clear a path. So you have to destroy everything ahead of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have different ways of doing that, and, and you get progressively better vehicles. And I think after a while you can choose which vehicles you want. This is one of those games that, all right, once it came out, like, you know, not a lot of people played it, but those that played it were like, it, it felt to me like very pilot wingsy. You yeah, know? well, I'm getting a hell of a Pilot Wings vibe. Especially right now. Yeah. yeah. And I remember for this years the... and years, it was one of those other games that Rare always teased about doing a sequel for. Because I don't think it was particularly financially successful. No. Uh, but, you know, Nintendo put it out. And uh, it's really weird that this is one of those games that they that Microsoft got the IP for. Well, I guess because it's, it's not a, there's not no Nintendo characters in it, but it's well, still I, I guess if if Rare owned it, Rare owned it, right? And that's the end of that. I also remember really fondly about it. There was a Nintendo Power comic for this for this oh, game. Man, Nintendo Power had great comics. Yeah, it really did. And they even like even comics that weren't themselves, like that yeah. were just the. Like, they had a little preview of the Killer Instinct comic from that yeah. uh, And for this, they had a little pre- like, a little prequel to, like, the, the setup to the game. Oh, no kidding. And it shows, like, oh, like, uh, like a terrorist or something tries to take command of this silo truck and they can't control it and they jump out at the last second. So it's just rolling down the hill and everyone says what everyone's thinking. It's like, why can't you just stop it? Why, do you, why would you need to destroy things? Yeah, yeah. And they go, oh no, because there's toxic waste pulling out of the side oh, as well. Like, like we so have to no make up a reason go for in it. Yeah, okay. And just jump into the side, because it's not going particularly fast. No, but it's just going. It was a really weird comic, and I guess it was like to get over the concept to, to like kids like me, where I'm like, why would Idiot you do children. this? Idiot children. Yeah, exactly. Idiot children like Machu. The Thunder Fist! Oh, shit. Yeah, the ladies, he does uppercuts. Yeah, I remember that's the what the fucker. ladies call me. <laughs> and you see he's got that dumb, oh, chromey yeah, N64 texture. The shield that Link had in that first Ocarina exactly. screenshot. So, now that we're this far in the Rare's catalog, uh, you want to start guessing what the next game is? Okay. Because mm. we, at this Last point, four. we should know. Blast so we did Core. KI is... Gold and Blast Core, and Donkey uh, Kong 64 is out of the question. Uh, I'm going to assume that it is Conquer. Okay, I'm gonna get in on that bet with you, because I already know. <laughs> Damn oh! it! Damn it! You fucking You're shit! Both fucked up for Banjo, for Banjo Tooie, uh, and all the other games that were ported to 360. It's not the N64 version you're playing. You're it's playing the, the XBLA version. XBLA port, which of the 64 which are version. great versions and look better. As but far as I know, there's me. That's on the Merrimack. As far as I know, they're objectively superior versions. As far as I know, because they're I, they play identically. Well, well, um, when we played it with Cranky, he was saying like this is a really great version of it. Like, oh, were you playing the 360 one? That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so version? you want a story? I, I would like a story, Liam. I pretty much never, ever played Banjo-Kazooie in my so, life. So, Liam, uh, your papers, uh, thank you for being part of the Best Friends and group, and you've had a good run. Everything is clear, Lord, now. Life is just a dream, you know, that's never ending. So this is also the de facto game of the googly-eyed art style. Yes, exactly. So everything has goddamn googly eyes in this game, and that is fantastic. Because what is so this vegetable? Easy. Guess what? It's got it doesn't fucking matter what got the googly is. eyes. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, exactly. You fucked it, though. I killed it. I played Banjo-Kazooie a lot. I never owned it. I always rented it. Right. And I remember one specific summer where I just a very, like... Stuck in my mind's eye, I was in our back porch, <laughs> and I, when I wanted to play games and feel like, oh, the summer, yo, get that Will Smith doll up there, get yeah, jiggy get with it, uh, and that I played specifically the next uh, level, the beach, the beach level. Uh, yeah, like Jolly Roger Bay, I think yeah, it's called. Something like that. And uh, I played that in the back porch, like in this this the summer air wafting through the screens. <laughs> And I played that. It was just like one of my more vivid memories of playing any game ever. So the original idea for this video was, hey Matt, let's do Rare Replay with a timer. And let's do a strict one minute per game thing. And Matt said, oh, I think they, 
I think we're gonna need more time, and I, and I was arguing that no, no. Like, we weren't yelling about it, but I was like, no, I really want to do one minute per, it's such a good gimmick. But basically, after Rare Replay launched and I bought it, I immediately realized, after playing a little bit, oh my god, this game deserves so much more than that. Um, it really does. And after playing a bunch of games for a while, including all of Banjo Kazooie, I was like, no, never mind. Uh, Mumbo Jumbo is so fucking cool, but the XBLA version makes it look like he's a horrible burn victim from Katawa Shoujo. Oh, is that just because of the high resolution? I think so. I don't recall that in the N64. Okay, Maybe you mean all his skin, where it's all pink and burnt. And... At its core, if there's any sort of problem why people wouldn't really like this game, is that like you're essentially just always collecting. Yeah, that's you're what not the game's really, about. Like, there's bosses in the game, but you're not really progressing. You're collecting no, everything exactly. more level than moving on. So yeah, this game's all about that. Just collect, collect, collect. Fight, collect, collect. Fight to collect more. Fight to collect your love, your yeah, life, exactly. your soul. I haven't booted this up. Have you booted this up yet? I've never played this. Ever in so, my life. So, that this has an updated control scheme, and I think it's got the most biggest visual overhaul of any of the N64 games, at yeah. least. Well, this, just like Blast Core, has actually been, like, ported into this version. Yeah. You know, it's, uh... Play Let me see if I can switch options. to widescreen, like it, um... Like it advertised, speaker music, widescreen settings. Oh, wow. Wow, amazing. By the way, the border art, they totally knew what they were doing with her. Yeah, they had a goal and they hit it. The controls. So I hear they're terrible. How exactly were the controls mapped on the N64 version? Dude, I can't even explain it because... Was it like a tank control? Think or? about it. It's a third-person control... It's a third-person shooter, but you have one control stick. Yeah. So I was gonna say, you could do a twin stick thing with C stick acting as the second stick, you know what I mean? Uh, kind of like how the C buttons. Yeah, uh, C buttons. Kind of like how PSP games did it. Like, um, you know, uh, but I don't think that was how they did it. I mean, again, I haven't actually played I, it. But... I honestly don't remember, but it was just so cumbersome. Like, I hated it. Mm. I pressed right on the C stick, and I'm rolling. Oh, wow, does this control? <laughs> So did you take expert control or did you take normal? <laughs> How do you play this game? Okay, All right. so You're on normal expert. control. Let's see what normal is. Right stick is now strafe. That's I guess. okay, right stick strafe. What the f except when you're running around it's all weird. I don't understand how this game controls. I'm not even gonna front. I don't I Well collect don't. those things. I don't understand how this game controls. The bottle ship. The baby. <laughs> God. Is I it wish, Dr. Robotnik? I wish we hadn't done the Let's Watch of Metroid Prime, of Metroid Other M, just so we could actually do an LP of it. That game, that game plays fun. It plays fine. It plays yeah. fun. It doesn't... Like, it's got major flaws terrible all Metroid over game. the place. Yeah, and it's not a good Metroid, but it plays fun. It should have I, been its own game. It should have been in a completely different IP. I really... It would have been fine. Well, I was just going to say, actually, even if it wasn't a different MP IP, I really think that Metroid Other M should have been a launch title for 3DS instead. Sure. Because, uh, yeah. you know how the structure of that game is? Where, like, you're looking into a room from, like, a 3D perspective from the side, yeah. but it's a room. Yeah. I think that... You could have used gyro controls during all the investigation sequences. And, like, and, like the depth is kind of Look perfect for the 3DS, but, you know... It, it is a very good-looking game, but I don't know if the 3DS could have handled at launch, but... Well, if it can handle fucking Hyrule Warriors. At launch, though? That's yeah, always a tough they, period. Yeah, why would they port it now? So Yeah, but... exactly. Oh, get oh, fucked! Oh, murder! With blood! I talked about it with Grant Kirkhope, and I, I've read about this, too, is that Rare worked in a really weird way that... Oh, yeah, would be, yeah, they Teams did. would be sequestered, locked away in did, different did, parts. Was Grant Kirkhope able to corroborate this info? He said, yeah, no, that's how he worked. I was oh, the awesome. audio guy, so I would work on a couple of different things here and right, there. Right, that makes sense. But essentially, the GoldenEye team had no idea that Killer Instinct Gold was being sort of made like and they were told ready. to be hush hush about it so like someone that was working on like uh, uh, Banjo Kazooie would not even know that Diddy Kong Racing was being made until it showed up in Nintendo Power or whatever yeah and they're like so 
every game had its own engine. They didn't share technology, which seems kind of backwards and bad. Now nowadays, that would be suicide for a company. Yeah, because why would you do that, that if you have then, the technology? Like, yeah, share it. Back but, then, like they were making so much money, and the costs were relatively low, low compared to what they were paying. And look, um, crazy shit like this got greenlighted. Yeah, somehow. This would never get greenlighted nowadays. Hell, but... hell, this got greenlit, and it was probably profitable. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so now, now. I, it has to be either Banjo Tooie or Conker. It's probably Banjo Tooie. I think it's Banjo Tooie because Conker was their last one. Last one was last. One. Oh! So, uh, do you know what they improved between the N64 version and this one? Uh, in terms of gameplay, not all that much. It's still essentially the same. Oh, you went to like quick match, I guess. Yeah, I just wanted to quick match. But guess what? It's just perfect dark, and uh, the frame rate is is way way improved in general. I can already see that. I think I smooth. think there's a lot of revisionist history on the N64, but like a lot of games used to run really bad on the uh, N64. Yeah, everyone knows that. But I mean, a lot of people seem to just ignore that. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. shit! It's such a great deal that you just get like what five or six 360 games. Yeah, and like a bunch of like XBLA games. More than games that, I think it's like bucks. seven, including so, including the XBLA it's Kamel, games. Perfect Dark Zero, Grab by the Well, Grab, grab by, by the Ghoulies. It's a yeah. Uh, uh, God, they have so little output. Uh, Banjo, Nuts and, Nuts and Balls, both Viva Pinatas. Oh God, I forgot about Viva Pinatas. Yeah. Um, both Viva Pinatas, Banjo, Banjo 2, I, I this. Was, the entire time I was looking at your screen and I thought that was my screen. The entire time? I think so. Wait, what? No! Oh god, I'm so confused! I just killed you, but it said you killed a Merriman, so I thought I died! Oh, that's why you were confused. Okay, oh god, I that see. was confusing! Oh shit! Oh, you oh! got me! Yeah, you got me, you're at four! Oh god, I got two cyclones! Shit, you're unstoppable. Cyclone! <laughs> Double cyclone! Double repuke cyclone. Double repuke. Predictable. Oh no! Oh no, you got him! Yeah, there you go. Okay, but there you go. There you go. Congratulations, it. you did it. Holy shit, you get this game on this collection, so it's awesome. It's already worth it. I have a question before we talk about Stop and Swap. Uh, I hear, I've heard so much about the first game, how it's great it is. I've heard so much about the third game and how it's not Banjo Kazooie and it is. Yeah. Um, I don't hear much about the second game. Maybe that's you're, just because I don't pay attention to it. No, you're right. But, like uh, people just don't mention it as much, and it's just like because they just kind of get balled in. It, it kind of gets one. balled into the and to ev all the N64 games that they kind of released all the same year, like 1999, yeah. 2000. So how how is it? Uh, it's 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 good, and okay. th that's about it. Oh shit. Holy shit. I don't re I I don't remember. <laughs> let's go to let's go to quiz. Let's get the quiz. Quiz in there. is stupid. And let's get the kickball challenge, the packing room challenge. And there's a shooting one at the start. Uh shootout and the hoops and the dodgems. Hoops. Okay. And that's a start. I have no idea what we're going to get into. We're just playing the oh, multiplayer mode. Oh, and now mode. it's just doing it in the order that... In a random order, yeah. Yeah, that was the nuts and bolts thing. <laughs> oh, so it's a first-person shooter where we're Banjo, but we're holding Kazooie's neck like a gun. There you are. Oh, fuck. You got ice ice needles? There you go. Oh, I like how it plays the death sound. Bam, bam, bam. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's tank controls. Good luck. I'm doing okay. No, you're blue. I'm red. What? Holy shit. Wait. Am I? I'm oh, red! No. I, you are red! Fuck you me! You fucking idiot! Fuck me! Oh! Oh, oh close. god! That was close. Wow. The balancing in this game is tight. What do you have to do to these things? Just collect them, I guess, but then what do you do? I think you have to... Oh god, I thought I was you again! It's so embarrassing! Uh... Yeah. Did you get that? Yeah, I did. He has a jiggy for a head. I knew that one. What is happening? I don't know, but I buzzed in. Fuck it. I'm buzzing in. 
I'm buzzing in. Yeah! What? I'm guessing. That was a guess. Oh, oh damn it. <laughs> Not even us. We, yeah, we don't win. <laughs> like, it's the computer that wins. It's just fucking <laughs> Indian She knows girl. everything about the game. Oh! I still got more points, though. Yeah! I guess that makes sense. Oh, that's the glory of Banjo Two. You win on trivia you couldn't possibly know. That was so weird. I, don't, I, I, I felt so loose and strange. So that is the core game mode of Banjo Two. So, I had a weird experience with Conquer in that I play. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. That's, that's really cute. Funny. I had a weird experience in, with Conquer in that the one I played was not Bad Fur Day. It was Conquer's Pocket Tales. Oh, of course he did. And when everyone was talking about Bad Fur Day, I was like, what the fuck happened? What happened to Conquer? Well, Conquer's my buddy, 12, my pal. Conquer's 12 Tales was initially supposed to be a cutesy fun thing. Yeah. And, and that was a got, sequel to... It, it got delayed and delayed and delayed. And then people were just like, I think they just got bad feedback. Like, it looks like every other game you've ever made. Yeah. And then they just said, let's just go crazy let's with make weird it British as, humor. as crude as possible. I played uh, Conquer quite a bit on the N64 when it came out. And I, I think I almost beat it. I got really, really late into the game and it got okay. more and more hard. And it wasn't a game I could afford to get, so gross. Also, um, so I rented it a bunch, and and it's kind of kind of things when you rent a game by the third or fourth time, you kind of give up. If you oh, can't beat I thought it. you were gonna say someone's deleted your save file by then. Well, that's kind of an issue too. Yeah, exactly. People don't know the struggle. Do you notice that a lot of rare villains have a little crown? King K. Rule, him, him. Um, uh. Grunty doesn't have a little crown, but she has her hat. So him and yeah. So just two, him. really. Um, <laughs> That's okay. I feel like it was a strong point. <laughs> you got some good hits in though, right? Kinda. So yeah, this isn't really collectathon. It's like yeah, the context sensitive is the word of the day, and they kind of right. just you kind of just. Make so it's just like a big adventure game. It's kind much. of an adventure game. Like the I remember there is a sunflower that has ginormous fun bags and you need to jump off them to use them as a platform to get somewhere. <laughs> That's cool. Stuff that... Oh, there you go. So this is like the Uncharted of video games. And I, I think this game had this where if you rubbed up against certain things, he'd kind of put his hands on and be like, whoa. That's cool. Well, fuck me. Well, fuck. But I, I believe 12, uh, uh, the original version of Conquer was supposed was to be 12 more tales, collect. Yeah. Well, well, that's our look at Conquer. Uh, it's grab, grab, grab by your balls. The motherfucking ghoulies. Oh, Man, no wonder this sense. super failed on Xbox. Yeah. Like, everything like about this is like the opposite of what the Xbox fan base was being marketed as. At, and the, at the time, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, definitely. I, I I tend to think, like, because I have a copy of this game and I've looked at the box a few times, I tend to think that this was a pretty unmarketable game. Like, I, I, yeah. The characters are, like, fucking forgettable as hell. I forgot the them. Kid. I yeah. just forgot everybody. Well, there you go. Okay, right stick. Oh, right it's stick is stick attack. stick fighting, eh? Yeah, yeah right that's, stick that's is that's attack in that direction. I, I always thought stick fighting was something that could work with simple combat, but I've never really played many games. I've never that did played it. a game that I remember it being great. This, uh, but I had I had no problems with that, so okay. Gr look at that weird grab yeah, your yeah. balls Dude, icon. Look for the master hand icon. These animals are very rare looking. I I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, an old button oh, event! Oh. oh, this kid's gonna have a heart attack! You take heart damage. A super scary shot! <laughs> God, this kid is probably one of the most forgettable looking kids yeah. I've ever seen. This looks like what, what Mario. Mario! You're Mario. Right. You're so good at it. Mario! Um, he looks just as generic as the original kids from Project Dream. Because it <laughs> yeah, was a, that's true. A, a boy and a girl, and he looked pretty much like that. So are you saying? Oh, yeah. Are you saying that if they spent enough years rejiggering this game entirely, it would be a far more memorable game starring a bear and a bird? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> a horror themed banjo. We just fought eighteen of those jinjos. Are, are those just jinjos? They look like evil jinjos. Oh, cinema. quite. Fucking fuck shit. So, like, kind of just judging this by, by, like, yeah, these characters are kind of garbage, but 
I don't know. This seems all right. Yeah, no, I'm 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 enjoying this game. I'm I'm kind of moving slowly because I wanna I wanna see everything. But like, no, it it, it actually plays good. Like, I'd be really interested to to continue. Mm. Um, on my own time. Yeah, I think uh, like the wow. more I remember it, I think like. I, I said I, I read reviews that I remembered were negative, and I think what it came down to is that this is this basically is all the do. entire game. Yeah. I believe it. It, it. Probably coupled with those weird first person things, which I think was already overstaying its welcome. Yeah, they're, they're not too engaging. Like, I'd love to see where they go with them, but they're not too engaging so far. Okay, well, yeah, we got another first person. Alright, cinema version. is where people were telling us we need to go. Okay, can I do anything here? Nope. Not really. Oh, wait. He just. I guess it's just an intro to the room. I don't know. I suppose so. That's weird. This is like Pat's place. <laughs> so I have to progress a little further before I can open you it up. You need a key, yeah. Hey, baby, how you doing? That's going? really... <laughs> That's really your That's a little piano. more devious than I thought this game would be. Okay, so like that, yeah, that's. I think that's pretty much how this game's gonna go for the, yeah. for the remainder. So yeah, that wasn't, this isn't as nearly as like, oh man, I'm not really super looking forward to this, but it seems alright. No, exactly. I, I, assumed it was, I assumed it was like a bad game, but like, no, it doesn't, doesn't really seem bad. Repetitive, yes. So, Perfect Dark Zero. I think it's Perfect Dark Zero next, or Cameo. Yeah, Cameo. I think they were both launch titles, they right? They were, I believe so. Did, man, did they both launch on the same day? Because that's crazy, like, shipping two games at the same time. Um, so fucking rolling start where we're playing is this all guy. All I ever saw this game was just walking around in a big forest area. I, I... Yeah, that's a bit later. There is a hub world in this game, so... Okay. You start... This is the first level. I believe the game has six or seven levels, kind of. And they're all about 20 minutes long on your really? first on your first play, I think. Yeah. So this game, the face buttons are uh, transform, and it's actually the the LT and RT that are are to do things. Which time? Yeah, you get which time as Pummelweed when you get a combo going. Um, this is way more complicated than I thought. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a mess. But do you know what's weird? Why is it this? Why is it a weird fairy girl? Why wasn't this a Battletoads game? I can already <laughs> kind of see it. Well, I mean, I, I, I can and, only... And you, you can swap out all three toads and they each have different, like... Yeah. One could turn into a rolling, no, like, you're not, spiky ball. You're not even wrong. It's, it's just strange. I can, I can only think that they just wanted to get a new IP going for Yeah, Microsoft. but they're, they, almost every single one was new. Well, I mean, when you think about, like how, like, their handling of Rare was, like, I think they, like, really clearly wanted to try kind of new stuff, and, like, Perfect Dark was the only one they actually kept. Yeah. They eventually went back to Banjo, but Viva and, um, and this were the, the things that they really gave a go. So, like, that's kind of the issue with Cameo. It's got all these neat things going on, but, like, it never, I don't find, like, I played it for an hour, maybe, at home before, before we did this video. I don't find it ever really gets particularly fun. Like, you're always just walk forward and then just, like, do the next thing, and do the next at thing. At least... Yeah, this, uh, this game, I remember when they first showed it off, was, like, a fucking looker. Like, what a stunner. Yeah, game. Wall Guy was amazing. Yeah, Wall Guy was the best. Look wall that guy. shit up. Look that yeah, shit look, up. Yeah, look up Wall Guy Xbox 360. That shot, I don't mind her in... Oh, like, there's a two-player two co-op campaign. Yeah, no, because there was that in Perfect Dark. Sick, one, grab so. me a controller. No, 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 no. Damn it. Yeah, a cooperative. Yeah, take I don't solo know missions with a friend. Says. We could do that. All right, well, where's the other controller? <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Well, it's just that you have to use Wooly's creepy, waxy Wooly's Xbox wax One controller. Then. Wooly melted a candle over this controller for I some reason. I don't know. It's some dark ritual. Yeah, some yeah. black ritual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me look at your body. I want to look at your body. Yeah, damn. Do what you want with my body! Ah! Uh, uh, B is melee. <laughs> okay, we can't kill each other. But That's we're, so weird. But we're both at critical life. Okay, let's start this mission. Get away from me, you arachnid freaks! Erected freaks, oh jeez! I'll help you out. Spider bots. Here's my deal with this. This doesn't feel like perfect dark. The way it doesn't it feel like perfect the way it dark. shoots. Probably because everyone that worked on perfect dark left. Yeah. And made free radical, and they made games that felt like perfect dark. And A little bit, yeah. Okay, I got the laptop gun. 
How'd you get it out? No, no, I got it out, like equipped, but I don't know how to actually set it up. Oh well, we we're, failed. We're dead. That doesn't control nearly as bad as I was led to believe. That wasn't very like, good. But it wasn't terrible either. Like, there's way worse first, per, uh, first sure, person shooters. Sure, but though. you're a sequel to one of the better first person shooters released the previous generation. Definitely. I wonder how so, the multiplayer is. Well, if it feels like that, not super amazing. Well, but it's still got local though, so you know you'll have you'll have some jollies, but definitely not like definitely not as good as the original, which fortunately is included in the package. Yeah, so and, and a really good version of it. Yeah, too. fuck you, Perfect Dark Zero. Mm. Extra fuck you. Quit. I played a demo of this on a kiosk one day, and that was about was it. Was that at Festival Arcadia? It. I don't think because it, it was. was for me. Oh. I wasn't allowed to play Gears of War because I wasn't old enough. You'll also be able to oh my wow, god! Wow, the fucking blade! Get the blade in there! You can choose which to collect and which to That's like a hard TRC violation nowadays. Yeah, like that... showing that kind of stuff off. Well, is it for first party? Probably not. It, Probably it's, I mean, it's still in the TRCs. You shouldn't be showing... Like, you shouldn't be using that kind of stuff so at confusing. all. Because then you fuck up the branding in the future when something changes. Yeah, like this. Like this, where we're on an Xbox One. It's really and, true. And all the babies born two years ago playing this are like, what is that blade? What is this blade you speak of, ancient papyrus this scrolls? too scary for me. Oh yeah, those snakes, they're cute. Snakes are cute. Look at them. They're like little worm snakes. The worm. The worm. Graboids. The Boyven. Oh, I see. So yeah, it, stick with you. My garden looks really fucking sick. I'm it's one patch of brown things. I'm glad the Warlums want to stick with Viva Pinata. This was an X X B L A title. Wow, that's ugly. It looks um, better than Beck. Yes, that does. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so this is the same sort of game. Uh, so what gotta... is that? Okay. Is that a sprite? Holy X, shit. X is to use some. I don't know what X just did. A is shoot. Oh, the trigger is is to jetpack, and you still have to go back and build your ship. Uh -huh. This just controls a lot smoother and faster than the the first one. I should like to think. Yeah, you know, you said this a little while a little while ago, but I really hope that their new pirate game, uh, Sea of Thieves, is is good. You know what I mean? Like, I hope they can actually restore faith in their ability to make. It's uh, it's really weird games. because, like I said, like so many, like the original founders of Rare are long, long since gone. Yeah, uh, the Stamper Brothers and lots of other creative. Leads yeah, that have left over It's a years. completely different company now. So yeah. uh, it's like I I don't know. I mean, like the UK has lots of talented developers. Lots of developers get closed all the time. Yeah, everyone can congregate there because it's like still a first party company for Microsoft. Microsoft. Still cares because the brand is worth a lot. I I mean it's it's to those who care to to those who care, but yeah. everyone who cares has long since resigned to the fact that's like you you yeah. peaked. No, you exactly. peaked super hard. Kind of, it kind of makes me hope they can bring it back. How come they don't have all the shit Connect games in here? Yeah, eh? Connect Champions or it's, whatever. It's almost like that's called. not what people want to remember Rare for. Yeah, that's a cute logo. Uh huh. Dig hole. Uh, it's not taken. Go hole. Okay, no. So I think we've learned a lesson today. That is that city builders are not a great format for quick They looks. are not. Especially when you're not really into city builders in the first place. Oh yeah! It's Yay! Yay! So now they come eat themselves, right? Oh yeah! Oh yeah, look at that. It's going up to Pinata Heaven! <laughs> oh. Fucking murder. Right. Yeah, you're gonna croak. So you, Yay! You, so of course we, we get to the the masterpiece of the collection. Yep. Uh, no other game was ever as good as this one. Everybody remembers Rare specifically for this title. For for this thing that that totally totally brought them back to the heyday. Totally uh, did not see. Shit. I like Kazooie better than Banjo in this design. Uh, Kazooie looks creepy. But look at Banjo's me. teeth. Oh, he's playing on a 360. And oh, there's an N6. There's a fucking N64 on the ground. Did, did you see, see that? that? No. How? How? There's an N64 on the well, ground. I gotta see. Right there, next to the 360. You see it? I saw a little bit. How? I think, it, I think it's different. But look at it. Like, yeah, they took off the branding, but like, that seems like a risky thing to put in your Xbox game. <gasps> 
Bottles just died? When did Bottles die? I thought Bottles was in the game later. I did a piece of trivia for Did You Know Gaming that said Bottles was in the game. Shit. Oh, second rate game characters. Who are you? Lord of Games, the log. The grand creator of all video games. That's the way that he looks. Even ones that don't like ghoulies. Like ghoulies. That's okay. Oh, that's good. There you go. I they like know. That. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that's that's silly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This this is actually this is this is I really like this, this is really charming. <laughs> They're You're fucking everywhere. They're fucking everywhere. Oh fuck. Come, come. Now oh. enjoy this collectathon. A bit it's a collectathon specifically for building vehicles. And then I think you use your vehicles to okay. win mission objectives and races. Yeah. Like, it seems like a neat gimmick, but I can definitely see how this doesn't like really go down like a banjo game, like already. They're the only Oh, they're currency? So you spend them, but are there a limited amount of them? I I'd imagine they replenish any time. You come I back I here. would want them to be limited, so it's just like you have to collect everything to get everything. You know what I mean? But well, I don't think there could be possibly enough. It's actually kind of nice being oh. being able to like drive a vehicle around like a little open world kind of thing. These little cute open worlds. Uh, yeah. Like it, it feels like it could be fun in its own way, but like yeah, this does not feel anything like a banjo game. It's oh well, really here this looks like much. there's some platforming going on here or not. Oh there wait, there go. we go. There we go. Okay, we got a real. To find some. We got a real video game. We're discovering the platforming. This oh one, so. yeah, yeah, I know you're doing it. Okay, let's let go of that box for now. Let's get back up there. I like how you're trying to force platforming on the Yeah, we the can. Game. We can make this game a platformer. That's a that's a nifty game. It's nifty. Certainly not like banjo but like i don't know it's got its own thing going on i could i could see that game being pretty fun so yeah that's that's where we play like super super charming this, lavish this was collection. quite a journey yeah we thought this would take two hours to record and we cut it a little bit and but... we thought it would be one big episode yeah, and it ended but, up being yeah, what it was no, it's kind of a big, big hey, I, there's a really like untraditional series but i hope you guys like that quick look at where we play <laughs> like we kind of did this in two parts and yeah like, we had I, to. like going through the, the start of all those games and like we said there's kind of a, a slight dip in quality and yeah of all the other ones oh that's fun Oops, shit. uh and but like still the all those fun, even the spectrum games that that was all pretty fun some so. of them well i i maintain like jetpack was really fun and like I, I don't know, I could see myself like giving uh, like some of them another try, but like, and then when we got to the NES stuff, I was like, yeah, these are all good, no no problems here. And then yeah, these ones were fucking stellar. And then uh, yeah, you know, how ready, goes. you know how it goes. Yeah, uh, good collection. I'm gonna keep playing this. Game. I'm gonna keep playing it too. I don't want to unlock those videos. Okay, sick. Uh, yeah, let's yeah. just get right back into Jet Force then, just oh, like just the way you no. like it.